Alright, so here we are. I'm back at the boss fight. Um, oops. Let's take another crack at Rando here. Stay back. Don't. Touch her. Master Armstrong. P please. We don't need to f fight. She is the future. She's just a kid. Basically, my plan is just headbutts for days. And then what we're going to do is tr try really hard to um, just heal at the right times. And that's the move that really sucks. seem to be able to stun him this time. The magic number to prevent myself from getting too far fucked seems to be about 1200 health. So right about now I'm going to heal again. Um, I know that seems a little bit excessive, but the thing is if I have both burning and um, bleeding damage on me like I did last time, that's what fucked me over. And he has that move that does 900 freaking damage, so. Alright, we're still above it. Now we stunned him. Okay, so now we heal. Alright. See, there's one of those things that if I pushed it too far, it would kill me. But uh, let's do use another enderation. Uh, this this headbutt move is really weak. It's just it's the only one that has the ability to actually stun him, and taking him out of damage for a turn is pretty damn useful. He resists a lot of the damage from the fire, so there's really not a big reason to use that. Damn. Here, we'll use up our horse jerky first, rather than using all our rations, because we might need the SP heal. Now I'm bleeding and on fire. I haven't got him to his cracked mask phase yet. Should be here soon. Man, we are not doing hot. Just battle of attrition here. There we go. There we go. He's crying. All right, that's a decent break. The reduced accuracy will help out here. Or it won't. It won't really do anything. Items. Horse, jerky it up. Just keep doing it. Just keep doing it. If it works, keep doing it. The most boring boss fight. through to him pretty hardcore. That's alright, we haven't got hit for a while. Here we go. Ouch. Okay, 
getting down there. Last of our healing items. Yeah, Rando, I'm crying too. I, I have no idea where this is going, but we'll see. It really would have been nice if there was more to this boss fight than just doing this, but... Holy shit. Broken man. Maybe he isn't me. Who the hell is he? I don't understand, but just keep going as long as I can here. It seems to be working. God, this is reminding me of the scene of Ninja Scroll. Just heart headbutt over and over and over and over again until he dies. Getting there. Keep going. I broke my rule. I broke my rule. Please don't end in me dying. <sighs> my bad. Sorry, guys. Ugh. All right, there. Yep, I'm on fire. Are you still resistant to fireballs? No, you are not. I wish. You really are the best. Thank you for everything. Who are you? He's done. Buddy. It's over. Why are you doing this to me? Why are you trying now? Why weren't you there when I needed you? You've taken everything away from me. I know. Finally had a chance at life and you take it away. Stop. Why are you trying to hurt me so much? Make me sick. I hate you. Stop. I know you hate me. I know. Hi, Brad. Why did you do this to me? I had a chance to choose something for myself. Nobody. You didn't. For good or for evil, it didn't matter. Those men wanted to use you. People are always going to try and use you and to hurt you. Choose your life for you. Don't preach to me. Please. It's too late for that. You can't just be a father all of a sudden. I just... For once, I wanted to do something good. I'm the one that was supposed to protect you. I can't let anyone hurt you. Brad, you've hurt me the most. Buddy, can you do something for me? Please. What? Hold me. Why? I want to know what it's like. I'm begging you. You get to choose? Hug.
buddy. Yes? Did I do the right thing? Well, that's it. Game by Dingaling. That's the end. Music by D Whittly to Diddly. Music samples. Okay. Um. So here we sit. Um. Killer Brad's alarm. What? Did you see that in the credits? Like stuff is flickering in and out. Taster, it's your fault. The fuck? Burn, Kickstarter backers. Oh, okay. Love, wake up, buddy. Buddy, buddy, buddy. I can crawl? I can crawl. I guess the game isn't over yet. I was right, though, about becoming a mutant. Bread of failure. Okay. I can still do stuff. Lisa. Well, it's a failure. The joy has no use to our investors. They say it can't be used as a weapon. Once it's gone into effect, the user begins to lose control. They no longer make choices for themselves. Only the user's innermost desires come out. The only plus is that it doesn't take a lot of joy in order to start the transformation. But still, they say it has no military benefits. I guess that means enough. I've known this from the start, you fool. What? They've served their purpose. We got their money, and now they're gone. Now it's time for me to build my world. Yato, you're acting insane. This whole thing has fallen apart. You've lost it all. It's time to let this go. Shut up. If you feel that way, then why don't you leave? Exactly. We both have our reasons for staying. Besides, I have a plan. And what's that? Nancy. I'll use her. Jesus Christ, Yato. That's your daughter. Furthermore, you can't possibly expect that to work. It won't be that simple. You're fucking insane. Bernard, Bernard, Bernard. Once you taste a power like this, you will understand me. Yato, for the last fucking time. My name is not Bernard. It's Buzzo. Okay. Uh, so here we sit. And that's the end of this game, Lisa. I guess I'm going to take just a minute here to sort of de, de unwind the springs and talk about it a little bit, discuss it. Uh, I really don't think I can re recommend this game to anyone. Um, it seems that 90% of the time its whole purpose is to frustrate you. And it's not frustrate you to force you to be better like Dark Souls does or other old games. It just seems like it really just wants to frustrate you. Um, the difficulty is really uneven. There are parts of the game that are just downright unfair. And um, more than that, the choices that Brad is forced to make and the choices that Brad makes for you um, are just really, really unfair. And I don't like that very much. Um, I understand. I mean, they said that Joy and Joy users can only act on their innermost desires. They can't make decisions. And I guess that's fine. But as a player who played like... 
seven hours of this game, I really didn't like being unable to make decisions. I mean, it's one thing for the game to be like Walking Dead, where your decisions don't make things any better in the long run. I mean, a choice for a choice's sake is just a choice. It isn't anything else. This game doesn't let you make any choices. This game just forces the shit sandwich down your throat and makes you take it all the way to the end. And the whole way through, you know that you're not doing the right thing, but there's absolutely nothing you can do to stop that. And I really also, while we're on the negatives, I really do not like how this game handled its subject matter. It's really hard to be uh, inspired by Earthbound and be really kooky and fun, and then five minutes later be directly discussing rape and um, murder and these horrible betrayals. Um, it's not... It's not, a, like, oftentimes, I mean, you can have a game where the art of the game and the subject matter are at cross-purposes, um, but in this game, it's just, like, the author knew what he wanted to say, but this was the only real way he could get it out, or, like, this art style was wedged in there, this attitude, and so I found it to be really, really kind of just miserable to have these sections where it's like comedy funny haha with dudes on billboards launching into the sky and then have to deal with blatant like vile dialogue about little girls being raped until they're in half like i can't that's just not okay and i don't think that it's okay i also think that just dealing with the way the game handles homosexuality because it's a game about all dudes. There's a lot of that, but it's all really like repressed homosexuality. Like there's nobody who's really okay and happy with it. Even the people who are completely out there really aren't okay with it. And I understand it's an apocalyptic scenario. And so the people are doing the absolute best they can, but I don't think that it just, I just don't think that it handles its subject matter um, very well. I mean, it's not a game that I could recommend to someone who is um, a woman or to is who is gay because to them it's really offensive. Hell, to me it's really offensive. So I, I just that's just gross. Um, on the other hand, on the positives, the game like it wouldn't let me go. I didn't want to finish this game. In fact, I didn't even want to play it after about the halfway point. Um, it was just so damn frustrating. But it something about it just really got inside my head and I had to see it all the way to the end even though it wasn't something I was enjoying and that's really interesting because for an entertainment software game to make me keep playing after I didn't want to that's um I don't know that's something that's really special and it was made by a pretty darn small team um made by dingling one guy uh did most of the major programming there's some art and stuff that got done by other people but um, he did almost everything himself, and so I guess if you take it at that face value as as his, like, his experience or his thoughts on some of this stuff, I guess that's okay, and I mean, it doesn't make the issues that I described any less prevalent, but I think it does sort of allow you to at least understand where he's coming from, because, I mean, if he's someone who doesn't have experience with rape or sexual assault or things like that and he's trying to tackle these big issues but just like this like laissez-faire um you know handling of them is just really not i don't know it just seemed like like some sort of weird childish effort at being really something more than it was and i mean i don't spend a lot of time reviewing games i just really had to get this stuff out of my head after having played this game for so long i had to tell someone um so i decided to tell you guys uh but i don't know i really don't like to create commentary and push my agenda but this this game just spent a lot of time making me feel dirty and i didn't really like it um it was neat um there was a lot to like but there was so much to dislike uh i don't think i'm going back to this game i think i'm gonna uninstall it from steam but it's been a wild ride and i hope at least some of you find some enjoyment in watching this i guess i am gonna put the series up it would be such a wasted effort to not do it so um i don't know i'm not doing it tonight it's four in the morning i'm gonna go try to sleep see you guys later